What is up, guys? How are you? Day number 37, vlog 105. We're rock and rolling. We're going to performance right now. Ed and I are going to finish up the canopy. They are fixing the tow and a bunch of other things there. And we are going to get cranking. I got about 40 miles to do today. I feel good. I feel great. And uh, it's pretty warm down here, Atlanta, Georgia. I can hear the traffic right next to the highway. It's going to be a great day. And then we're going to be on this awesome trail that I can't reveal yet, but you're going to see it. It's going to be sweet. I got like 13 miles at the end. You'll see it. I love you guys. Have a great day. Enjoy. Make sure you subscribe to the page. Go make a donation. PositiveVibesTour.com. And uh, help the kids out. The reason we're doing this whole ride is for kids with cancer and illnesses at the Dartmouth Hitchcock Hospital. I love you guys. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye. All right, perfect. Thank you. What was your name? Juwan. All right, Juwan. Thank you so much for your help. No problem. They call booking.com now, and we have to. So they charged me last night. Um, went to another hotel, but charged me last night. And now I have to call booking, call back to the Red Roof. And it's a big hassle. It's a big pain. I wish if any hotels out there watch this stuff or anybody out there that is in that field uh, and you have any say in it, I mean, if you can make the process just a little bit easier on everybody, that would be fantastic. Yeah, that's fantastic. I appreciate that. Thank you for your help. Of course. It was definitely my pleasure. Did you have any other questions? Sweet. So we got it refunded. It's going to be three to seven business days, a.k.a. 365 days. So we'll get it next year probably. Hopefully not. Uh, but, yeah, it's 116 bucks. To get, we can get back in our pockets put towards another hotel. We just got a uh, little uh, information. So uh, Ed wanted to quiz me on, on something that... Uh, that I don't know much about, which is the gold rush. Uh, he said, what did you ask him? Well, the first major gold rush in the country, there was a, there was a gold rush in, in Virginia, but the, the first major gold rush was here in Georgia, in Dahlonega. And they actually have a mint. It's in the downtown square of, uh, of Dahlonega. You still get coins minted uh, that were minted back then. But that was the first major gold rush. And then Pike's Peak gold uh, was discovered. And the governor of Georgia, upon all the people leaving Georgia to go to Colorado said, hey, wait a minute, there's gold in them by our hills. So he wanted them to stay and, and continue the gold rush here in Georgia. So he went to Pikes Peak and then of course on to Sutter's Mill in California, uh, the gold rush of 49, so. There's gold in them there hills. There's gold in them there hills. Yeah. I wish I had a cowboy head because I'd swing it around. Well, that's the uh, facts and the information we got today. So now I can uh, continue on my trek across America and uh, I will quiz somebody else with that question. And if they get it right, I won't talk to them for the rest of the time because I probably won't see them again because I'm going to be riding a bicycle. So thank you, Ed. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Hi, I'm James. Good Hi, to meet James. you. This is the man right here. This Hi. is Ed. Welcome. This is Ed. Yeah. Ed is very intense. Okay. So, in order to get the toes farther out, what we do is simply extend this whole system. Okay. Which basically means this is lefty loosey, right tidy. Uh, I unbolted this, flipped this over, rotated it counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. So basically extending the bolt out of the nut, this, this being the nut, a little bit longer. So now, um, this is only about a millimeter towed in compared to the back. Which is much closer to the back. Yeah? Absolutely. Those are so cool. I was like, this would be perfect. Yeah. I was like, that's white yeah. to do it. And you know, I have been looking for ideas or things to put on there. So Right now we're testing out the bike. Ed is... Uh, Ahead of us there, look at PositiveVibesTour.com. This thing is, uh, I was riding. I'm gonna look my phone in my pocket. You had to tell 
telescope down, it's a very good rear view. Yep. Because you have. I may get just like a two or three shots kind of thing off that. So we're uh, Ed was actually um, just he created these holes for anybody that doesn't know, so that you can stick your camera in there uh, and you can use a um, what was it a, like a handle um, grip. Foam, foam, foam insulation. Foam insulation. Yeah, foam piping. And you can actually put it down in here and put your uh, the end of your camera handle in there and then just get nice back shots of, uh, you know, obviously whatever's behind you. So cars and stuff. It'd be kind of a neat little uh, shot anyway. So you kind of get a lot of different kinds of footage. So I don't know. Look at this guy. This guy's like, it's like Santa's workshop over there. Just got everything he needs. Uh, what do you think of Scott for these and everything else, of oh, course. Man. So You're Scott and uh, you, staff, thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Andy, my man. Yeah, helping us out with the bike. So huge shout out to these guys. And uh, I'm gonna stick these on right now because I'm actually really excited. They're, they're basically reflectors for your wheels or for anything else on the bike. So I'm gonna put them on the mirrors and everywhere else. And then um, hopefully I uh, don't get taken out by a semi truck. So that's the idea. Let's we'll see what happens. Get helmet, yeah. Gotta get a helmet. Gotta, I'm gonna try this bike out real quick. <laughs> Let's go. Joy, man, they Let's just boogie. So Let's you, the minute you start pedaling, she will go. Okay, sweet. All right. The only downside is I cannot put my camera anywhere, so I'm gonna put it down. Show you guys my sweet new uh, bandana from Big Leaf. And uh, I know you can't read it, so here. There you go. Because I spent most of my time upside down anyway, uh, and that's courtesy of uh, Ed, who just said that. And uh, but it's not it's not a lie. It's actually factual because I do like to uh, turn my bike on its side sometimes to take a nap. So that's what I do. I nap with my bike on the side of the road sometimes. What's that? I didn't. Even, I know I didn't want to say anything. Of course I'm gonna. So I gotta stop and say bye. We gotta say bye to these guys. I say I'm gonna get up and say bye. I say what? A, yeah. See you later. Performance. Huge. Oh, you guys are awesome. So thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Rockport. Uh, Rockport tonight, and then uh, get on the comet and just go. He's gonna bring me up tomorrow 13, so I can get out of the uh, out of the. That's right. I had a couple friends break collarbones. So. He's on a trike. All these stories. These are I broke your collarbone. So I heard the guy yesterday said somebody got stabbed on the uh, on the on the trail one yeah. like a, so I'm like was, was I'm like it like was years ago. Okay, so we're okay still. See, we're good. All right, Pleasure. I love Pleasure. it. This is awesome. Yeah. This is so good. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Yeah. All right, and uh, see you later. Ah! <laughs> Ruined it. <laughs> yeah, dude. And yeah, we're out. Don't get hit by a car. Okay, we're good. We're good. Woo! All right, so what we're doing now is our, uh, Ed has to uh, remove his canopy off his bike because uh, my bike doesn't fit in there with his, with the canopy on. So we're trying to squeeze it in there. He's gonna, Ed's gonna drop me uh, at uh, mile 13 because that lane is just is super dangerous to go through. And the last thing I want is to, um, after the bike just got fixed up at performance and ready to go, is to get hit by a car. Very dangerous in downtown. So I wanna make sure that I get out of there. So we're gonna drive um, to mile 13 from there, uh, from performance, and then drop me and I'm gonna ride, so. Uh, so we're in downtown Atlanta right now, and basically we're dropping at the uh, the spot, uh, mile 13 is essentially where we're going right now. And uh, it's just really busy, as you guys can see in the traffic. And it would be heck trying to get through all of this on a on a trike so we're gonna we're driving to that spot 13 and then uh we're gonna drop there and then i'm gonna ride off into the sunset ed's gonna leave me and uh this time he set me up not to fail so we're good to go right yeah rock and roll all right uh football field here that's kind of cool on the campus right now of uh georgia tech this is actually really neat really cool
So we're going through um, uh, a, a, a not so good part of Atlanta. I'll put it that way, easy enough. And uh, we're driving to a, a little bit better spot um, of Atlanta so that I can put my bike up and, and uh, not worry about it getting stolen or people coming up to question and stuff like that. That's the that's the that's how I'll leave that <laughs> anyway. But uh, Ed's gonna be my sag for a little bit and uh, like a mile or two or whatever. He's gonna turn our head out. Get the bike out and uh, head out now. Nice bike, man. Thanks, brother. Appreciate that. Thank All you, right. guys. All right, so we're gonna uh, we got it out now. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna get it uh, on the road, rocking. I gotta get something to eat though, cause I'm starving. I'm hungry. All right, so we're finally off. We're rolling. We're pedaling, and uh, finally, like 2:30, we're on the road. A lot of things that we had to uh, had to do and uh, figure out, but we got it done. Look at this kid. We got a sick positivevibestour.com windshield and uh, we're rolling. Yeah, I just do. like the feeling of having nothing in front of me. I understand That's exactly the, yeah, what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so we're, we're going to put the, the, uh, uh, the, the windshield on top and uh, it's not a, not a big thing, not a big... It's going to be for rain and stuff, so it's not a big deal. And the cool part is it's going to sit above the tires, so it's going to keep the water out from the inside of the tires from weighing it down. And uh, my the biggest thing for me, and, and Ed's he right here, so we're talking about it, is uh, is just the, I know, I, and I don't know if I'm the only one, but when it looked through my glasses and then I look through the actual windshield, it just looks a little blurry. And that could be my eyes as well. It could be something that, you know, maybe I need to get the eyes checked, but there's also a little slight, I assume, tint to that. Or something that's that sits on the outside of this when it's made, like that gives it. It's not. I've had visors in football and stuff. It's the same idea, and I've never liked the visors when in my helmet. I just thought it was a cool idea, and so for me it was just kind of like seeing out the front. I want to be able to see with my glasses, and uh, and then have nothing else in front of that. So we're gonna take it off for now. Yep. Use it for rain, and uh, and we're gonna keep it up there. So on the on the roof of the on the roof of the Cadillac. right now on the Silver Comet Trail. This guy, we got, we got the kid. We got him. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Look at this guy. What's up, buddy? Oh, what's up, brother? Ah, how are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, this is this is the kid, and he. Well, I said Billy the kid earlier, and it, but it's Tom a kid. And it's Tom the kid. Tom a kid. Tom kid, not the kid, but Tom kid. Well, captain. The captain's all right. <laughs> captain kid, I love that. Yeah. He's going to actually ride with us a little bit here, and uh, I was also told he told us that a uh, if we ride, what county is it? Paulding. Uh, Paulding. Oh, pa Paulding County. If you ride in Paulding County after dark, they uh, arrest you. You take your bike and arrest you. Am I gonna make it there before dark, you think? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna get there before dark. Where did, uh, I just heard him yell. Going north. <laughs> the whole gang of us now. Look at him. <laughs> Watch out, we're coming. We're coming for you, two wheelers, that's right. 
<laughs> you got two trikes? Three. You have three of them, yeah. This thing is awesome. The other one was a Trident. Yep. And you tell us which one this is. This is the Ice Sprint X. Sprint X. That's awesome. This it thing has is rear suspension. Oh, this has rear suspension. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but that's a that's a lot nice. That's a heavy duty suspension there, huh? Well, you compared to that, you can change these for heavy or light. Okay. Okay. I see that. I mean, do you have two idlers or just one? Two idlers. Two. One here, and then there's another one. Up front here. here. And there's no teeth on it. it every trike I've ridden, I've ridden his, I've ridden, I've ridden yours, I've seen yours, and then I've uh, Tom Merce here, uh, and another gentleman, um, Rob Flieger, I think. I didn't see his trike, I saw his trike, but I didn't ride it. They all sit way lower than mine. I, it's comfortable. It is one, comfortable. I mean, initially it hurt my back. Yep. And I, I changed it. Need. I was just looking at it how it was set up because I, I was looking at these bags and I just didn't know how they were even put on. Some of the pictures don't They're do justice online. Strapped over. Oh, okay, and it's uh, and it goes and it goes over the seat, yep. and then the weight of you basically keeps it up. Yep. Ah. There's a frame that sets that ties in here and then goes through this one yep. as well. Yep. And then I can hang my bags off of that. Oh. Supposedly, and I hadn't found it. There's an attachment that you can put a flat rack on top. Okay. But suspension, rear suspension, or any suspension trike, head can testify. It's a booger. Oh yeah, this is. I mean, you see the. We what did we weigh this in yesterday? So the the this bag was I think it was like 10 pounds. These bags with everything in them were like 16 pounds, and then the battery is another 10 pounds, and that's on the side of the rack. Luckily, it's more forward. That thing's holding right now like 35 pounds of weight, maybe 40. Love that. So I got it. It's just too pretty not to. We're gonna take a photo shoot real quick. It's, uh, we'll all be in there, but make all sure right. you get the trikes. Got them. Good. There you go. America. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Look at this That's guy. Somebody touring. Look at him. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Hey, thank you so much. No I appreciate that. You're thank welcome. you very much. What's up, Where man? Are you headed? Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, not today, but you're you, going. To, you he's got me beat. I'm going to California. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> they got me way. Yeah, tell us the story. Uh, in the U.S., I yep. had a blind people to cycle with me. I had a blind lady Lynn yep. from New York oh, to D.C. Nice. And yeah, then I went down the. Blue Ridge Parkway. Yep. And there I picked up two Appalachian Trail hikers. Yep. Uh, but when a friend was with me two days ago, so if somebody wants to join me, he's it's very a two seater. So if your yeah. butt starts to hurt, you can get on this, or join somebody can join you. Yeah. Do you so mostly ride back here? I have to ride here. Oh, no, you have to. Okay. The primary person has to ride in the back. Oh. Because here's the brake and the, the oh, shift. Oh. Okay. Steering. Yeah. And the second seat is like optional. So I only put the bag in the front sometimes because if I put the, normally the gray bag is in here in the back. Uh, but then the, all the weight is in the bag, and so only to have a bit more comfortable and more stable, I put the gray bag in the front in the front seat. This is so cool. What? I just told Tom for the trailer. Right now. But I've got to. You what? What? I'm talking to the camera. Oh, I thought you saw a deer, and I'm I thought you I'm just out ruined. Of here. My, oh no! <laughs> just kidding. What is that? Wow! Look at that 1922 camera he's got there. He's got to hold on, dude. <laughs> Look at it. Look at him go! Woo! I love it. Canopy. Oh 
This trail is so nice. What up, man? Yeah, buddy. Cool part about this um, trail is that it's so flat because it used to be a railroad trail, uh, railroad tracks. Um, also, the elevation gain is maybe like, it's the, the increase is like 3% maybe. So it's like really nothing. Uh, more the other way than what I'm doing. But it's so nice. I can put the pedal assist up higher and go faster. And it's just super fun. It's a lot nicer when you're traveling at like light speed on a bike rather than like two miles an hour. So we're taking advantage of this today. We're heading to the hotel. We're almost there. So, oh, it's so fun. I love trails. It's fun. We got a biker ahead of us. And uh, we're gonna boost it up. Level eight, let's go. guys so we made it we did uh, we didn't do a lot of miles today but we got it done uh this is vlog number 105 and this is day number 37 today we are at the country inn and suites as you can tell we're gonna try to get a room i haven't called yet uh i'm just gonna walk in these guys said they couldn't get a room so i'm a little scared right now but we're gonna try if not hopefully there's another hotel or i'm just gonna sleep on the bike anyway i love you guys please make a donation positive vibes tour.com also vlogs on youtube make sure you subscribe turn your notifications on and also follow us on twitter instagram like us on facebook and i will see you guys tomorrow have a good night bye